Hi there folks, and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take our pre-existing character who is only animated to go in one direction and actually create it so that they can go in multiple directions and actually face the correct way of their travel and of course animate in that correct way. So what we're going to first of all do is just go to our character tab here where we have our main player character and we're actually going to build something called an enumeration structure. And within this, if you go to Blueprints, right click of course, go to Blueprints, then Enumeration, and click here. What we're going to call this is Player Direction of Travel, just like so. Now, enumerators are effectively ways of storing multiple values which can be called and used for different specific purposes. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to look at finding the direction of travel for our main player character. So the first enumerator is going to be that of up, then down, then right, then finally left. Now what we can do is just put some information in here. There you go. So it'll give us a bit of a pop-up of information and you can actually give each of these individual descriptions but for now we don't actually need to do it so let's just save that enumerator then go to our main player character now what we're going to do is create on our event graph we're going to add a function and call this animate player character right so our animate player character is basically going to be where we're working out which direction the player's character is traveling and of course what they should be doing and how they should be animating so first of all we're just going to put on some there you go we're going to add an if statement and we're going to just check that the character isn't moving or that they are moving so if we press up and down I get the axis value there you go for up and down which will be this lovely section here this float so it's currently going to work out if it is not equal to zero, so our character isn't mo moving, I'm just going to throw in it all, then this should happen. And now I'm going to do exactly the same for get right and left. There you go. So what we're doing at this moment in time is we're just quickly checking to see if the player character is moving. Of course, if this isn't equal to or so if this is not equal to zero then the player will be moving else they will not be moving right now what we're going to do is we're going to set our enumeration so we're going to call that in for a variable and remember we called this player direction of travel so we're going to go to variable type add a new variable and then player direction of travel find this and just type in player direction set the name and compile it. Now if I drag and drop this in like so, there we go, we can now set our player's direction of travel, which is very useful. And in fact, what we're going to have to do is draw this through a selector to work out which uh, floating point is actually basically moving the character to determine the correct direction of travel. Now what we do with this is we actually take our set direction for the enumer enumerator and then we draw a select like so and then we associate the values of up and down we're going to check to see if this is greater than zero if this is greater than zero the direction of travel if this is true should be upwards which is correct because if you are pressing um, the up key it should go positive one from our lovely input functions which were just here let's just quickly find them to check that this is correct there you go so positive one negative one of course will be a minus so what we'll then do is drag out of the false find another selector and we'll do exactly the same code so get up and down value and this time if it is less than zero there we go and we set this one to downwards now finally what we're going to do is check if it's traveling left or right we do this by dragging out another selector and if we have a look here d goes right which is plus and a is minus which is a negative of course so what we do is we get 
right and left, like so. We'll check to see if it is greater than zero. If this is greater than zero, true, set it to going right. Else, set going to left. Right, then folks, we have our enumerator set up. So at this moment in time, if I then press print, like so, and assign this one to this print string, and I play our game, if I go up, ooh, it's not actually doing anything because we haven't actually set it to the actual function. So with that, after our movement, we're just going to drag our player animate character in, like so, compile and run. Now it should say which direction our player character is traveling in. Excellent. So let's just go back to our function. We can delete this for now. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to set to make sure he's going on the correct flipbook. So we're going to get our flipbook, just like so. We're then going to drag out a select, just like this. And then we're going to set the flipbook to the player direction. Boom. There we go. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to do it that way at all. Why did I even do it that way? Who knows? Right. <laughs> what we're going to do is select which direction of travel it's going in. So we want flip book to do sprite set flip book there we go Ta -da. then this is going to go into a selector that makes more sense and then that's going to be working out the player direction hey we can delete that flip book off of there so now we're setting the flip book of course to the correct direction now we only actually have moved down set as a flip book so we're going to have to quickly just build all our flipbooks so highlight the ones where he's going right create flipbook call it move right highlight the ones going left create flipbook move left and then highlight the ones going up create flipbook move up just like so and now i've created all those flipbooks we now have all the options so move up move down Move right, move left. Now, if I compile and run our code, our character will now face the correct direction of travel. And in the next video, what we're actually going to do is create an idle animation for our character and actually have it so when they stop, when you stop moving, the animation stops as well.